So another feature of being a competitor, outside of just being able to play your own way despite the consequences, despite the level of the game, the importance of the game, uh, so basically being a stud. Um, so besides that, what else is it that you could be seen as being competitive? And what is another aspect of being competitive? Well, being a battler, that's another one of these in vogue terms uh, that is used. And, and so how would you go about determining or calling yourself a battling goalie? Is that important? Well, I think something to bear in mind is quite a lot of people that go into being goaltenders, they can be they can be quite fragile. So, you know, if you're thinking about being in goal because you like the concept of being the dependable one and you are very dependable and you're um, you're also extremely trustworthy, you uh, put a lot of time and effort into whatever you do uh, and maybe you're even very athletic, you know, you're, you're, you're quite strong, you're quite, um, what are other terms, you're quite flexible, this kind of stuff. However, you're quite fragile, you don't enjoy kind of combat sports or you don't enjoy kind of getting rough, um, you know, getting interactions with other people. Maybe you're not too much of a people person. Maybe goaltending wouldn't be for you because, you know, it's important to appreciate that goaltending isn't just stopping shots. I mean, I understand that that is the end goal. You need to stop shots, but it's not just shots, it's opportunities on net. And that could be people crashing the net, you know, it's breakaways, penalty shots, um, people in the crease, tips, it's it's things, it's not just moving. <laughs>